All right, welcome to April's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is deepest leave sum. Given the root of a binary tree, return the sum of values of its deepest leaves. Now, the deepest leaves are going to be the nodes at the deepest level here. Here you can see there's four levels, 0, 1, 2, 3. And we want to sum up 7 and 8 to equal 15. Just return that sum here. Now, uh, this example, we can't visualize it very well, but we can assume that the deepest nodes are going to sum up to 19. So right here in the hints, they tell you to traverse the tree to find the max depth and then traverse the tree again to compute the sum required. So we're, we don't actually have to do that. We could do that all in one pass, but we do know that we need to traverse every single node in this binary tree to figure out what the deepest length is. Or I'm sorry, deepest depth. We can do that two ways. We can do that depth for search or breadth for search. I usually go with depth for search, but today I'm going to try breadth for search uh, just for kicks and giggles. Uh, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep track of the node as well as the depth that we're at. Now, we have to have some sort of other variable to keep track of the max depth. Now, as soon as we find that the depth is greater than our max depth, we'll reset our output. And as long as the depth equals the max depth, we're going to add to this output whatever that node value is. So let's begin. First, we're going to create a queue. And I'm going to add to this queue a tuple of both the node itself and the depth that we're at. We're going to start with adding a tuple for the root as well as zero being the first depth. Now, another thing we need to initialize is our max depth. Uh, I will call that max depth, and this will start off with zero, and we'll have our output as well. That's going to be sum of everything that we've, uh, all the deepest leaves. So while there's a queue, we're first going to pop this off. Uh, we'll say queue pop left, and we are going to pop off the candidate node as well as the depth that we're at here. Now, if this depth is greater than our max depth, then we know that we need to reset our output to zero as well as reset our max depth to equal whatever the depth that we're at here right now. Now, another if statement is if this depth then equals max depth, then add to our output whatever the candidate node's value is. Finally, to do our breadth first search, we're going to add to our queue another tuple of the candidate left as well as depth plus one. And we're only going to do this if a candidate left exists, right? So we can add that here if candidate left, and we'll do the same thing with the right. Now you can avoid doing this by adding some sort of check here um, and making it just continue if there's no node, but I think this is a little more readable. So finally, once we're finished, we can assume that we've gone through every single node and we can return our output. All right, so this looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, accepted. So this is O of n, n being the number of nodes. And it's basically constant, it's constant space, right? Because we don't have to um, store anything other than the max depth and the output. Now, if I did that for search, you could probably do something similar. You could also use a dictionary to sum up all the sums at every single depth. Uh, but then you're going to have to be required to return the max depth number, depth number's value at the very end. So that is a little bit uh, less optimal. So I think this is the best solution. All right. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.